Welcome to Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. The fields are white, already to harvest. For over half a century, the Evangelistic Outreach team has traveled across the street, about the nation, and around the world with the gospel message. We're dedicated to the vision of our late founder, Dr. Calvin Evans, to reach the unreached for Jesus Christ. May the love of Christ touch you, and may His Word teach you, today on Evangelistic Outreach. Well, today a very special program in store. We are going to finish a message that we started last week from our late founder, Dr. Calvin Evans. As we're celebrating this month of ministry, now we're in the 60th year of ministry here at Evangelistic Outreach. We have a very special gift offer as well. This will be the last week we'll be mentioning that gift offer. I also have some very special meetings we need to tell you about. So please join us in prayer as we ask God's blessings over this broadcast today. Father, we humbly come to you and we, first of all, thank you for just being a good God. Lord, how can we ever thank you enough for being with us on a daily basis? Lord, you wake us up in the morning. You give us breath to breathe. You give us breath to praise you. You give us the strength and the wisdom we need to be able to deliver the gospel message of Jesus Christ almost on a daily and weekly basis. And Lord, we thank you for those that are tuning in today. We know this is totally voluntary. They don't have to tune in, but they do. And it's so humbling to us to know that there are thousands of people watching today. And I pray that this program will be a, a life change for them today. We'll encourage them. If they don't know the Lord as their Savior, may they accept Him as their Lord and Savior today. May we reap souls from this broadcast. And Lord, we thank you for being so good to us. Bless the meetings that we're in this week down at Hickory Grove in Tollsburg, Kentucky. And our upcoming patriotic service, bless those meetings. And Lord, for it all, we'll praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, right now, this, I hope this song is a blessing to you today. Father, we praise your holy name. We pray that we'll all finish well in Jesus' name. There will come a day, I know without a doubt, around the throne the saints will bow and lay down every crown. How glorious that moment to see him face to face to hear him say well done my child you finished your race but for now the sun's still rising there's work to still be done while we're waiting for the promise of what is yet to come finish well Every day that we are given, finish well. For the glory of His name, finish strong. Until the Savior finally calls us home. Give it everything we have, finish well. truth in saying we've seen our better days these are the days to be courageous bold and full of faith so wherever he may lead us whatever it may cost let the church arise and lift the banner of the cross Until the Savior finally calls 
Well, this entire month, we've been sharing with you a very special free gift offer, and this will be the last week we'll be mentioning it. Uh, as we mentioned last week and previous weeks, just how special it was to be able to find a manuscript that our late founder, Dr. Calvin Evans, was writing, and he was hoping to have that published. And so we were able to compile all that together in a book called A Cry for Revival. And we hope that you will contact us this week to be sure to get your free copy of A Cry for Revival. Tremendous messages inside those. All of those birthed out of the revivals over the 60-year history of this ministry, and we know it'll be a blessing to you today. I'll get the contact information here in just a little moment, but let me tell you about a couple meetings that are going on. First of all, this week, uh, Calvin will be preaching at the Hickory Grove Church in Tollsburg, Kentucky. That's on Kentucky 10 uh, in Tollsboro, Kentucky with Pastor Charles Emmons. He's been going there now for uh, well over 35 years and how the Lord has blessed that meeting each year. So all week long through Friday night at 7 p.m. at the Hickory Grove Church in Tollsboro, Kentucky. Uh, I'll be singing on Tuesday night. They have some other singers coming in as well. It's going to be a great week. So join us there this week at the Hickory Grove Church in Tollsboro, Kentucky at 7 o'clock each evening. And then also we're just a week away from the great annual patriotic service at the Rubyville Community Church. It'll actually be next Sunday, July the 3rd at 7.30 p.m. We'll be welcoming our dear friend, Dr. Andrew Phipps, a tremendous preacher and a great historian of the United States and, and what, how God has formed this country and shaped it. He delivers a powerful patriotic message and you won't want to miss this wonderful evening at 7.30 p.m. It's probably one of our largest services of the year for our church that Calvin Ray and myself are privileged to be a pastor of. It's at the Rubyville Community Church. We're located at 5365 State Route 139, just outside of Portsmouth, Ohio. Again, we're starting at 7.30 p.m. this coming Sunday night, July the 3rd, and for our annual patriotic service, you will not want to miss it. If you need any more information or directions about these meetings or our free gift offer, please contact us. Our toll-free number is 1-800-767-8713. Visit our website for more information at calvinevans.org. And you can also write us at 299 Ohio Avenue, New Boston, Ohio, 45662. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We're going to be going back and finishing out the remainder of the message that we started last week from our late founder, Dr. Calvin Evans. We hope it's an encouragement to you today. Jesus himself said, Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. You see what that early church and those early Christians didn't know and didn't realize, they could not separate Christ's first coming from his second coming. They thought when he came that he was coming to set up the kingdom of Israel. You remember, he's, they saw him heal, the, they saw him heal the, the sick, give sight to the blind, hearing to the deaf, cause the lame to walk. Amen. They saw all these things, saw him raise the dead to life again. Yeah. But now he's going to go to a cross. Is he going to offer any resistance? Peter said, I'll fight for you, Lord, and cut off the servant's ear. He just put it back on. Amen. Our fight's not now, Peter. You wait a while. Yeah. What are you talking about? You see, it had all been prophesied. It had prophesied where he'd be born, how he would live. It prophesied exactly how he would die. Did you know this Bible has more information in it in the Old Testament about exactly the details of Calvary even more than the Gospels does? Some of it written a thousand years before it ever happened. They said Jesus would be crucified and the people that did the crucifying had not yet, yet discovered this method of execution. But God knew about it. So I wondered, when they came back into the city, you may not remember it. I remember when they came the first time, those soldiers, to the weeping, wailing wall praising God back to their place of worship 
after 25 centuries. You say that wasn't a great day. I'll tell you it was a great day in history. I just learned recently why, you remember General Diane had a patch over one eye. They called him Gideon. He was outnumbered hundreds to one and won that war in six days. He said, we'll never depart from this city again. We'll be here forever because God promised it to us. And we're here and we're going to stay here. It wasn't but a week until Governor Diane gave the Muslims back their mosques to stay in charge of it and gave them the authority to stay in charge of the Temple Mount. I never could understand that. Here's a people who's been separated from their home and their city for 2,500 years and they come back and one, we know God was in, he had to be in the arrangements. And here he is giving back the very things that they fought for. I think I know why now. I think I know exactly why. You see, in the temple worship, the first thing that had to happen was a high priest would take the red heifer. And they'd take it as a sacrifice. And they'd go through the process of cleansing. One was considered unclean until he had been through the process and the sacrifice of the red heifer. Why did they give it back to the Muslims? I'll tell you why. The Orthodox Jewish Church, their leaders, rose up and told the politicians and the generals, said, don't you dare to allow a Jew to go on that mount until they've been cleansed. We've waited this long, we can wait a little longer. We don't know where the Holy of Holies was and if someone goes on that mountain and they've not been cleansed as God commanded they be cleansed, then that would be an abomination against God and all he's taught us. Did you know just last week they made provisions for the first time for some Jews to go on the Temple Mount. Did you know they weren't allowed up there? One of the biggest skirmishes we've had in the last few months was when Sharon went to the Temple Mount. It was a day of killing. And that's when the last, the last fighting, really vicious fighting, broke out. So the Jew could not go. That's another reason I think the Temple Mount will be built on the north side because if you build it just opposite the eastern gate, the golden gate, that's been sealed for over a thousand years, they got, they got gravestones right up to the gate because Jesus is going to come through that gate when he comes to reign and rule on the third temple. Now stay with me. Only that area if you would build, I've seen, I, I saw a, a, a picture of it. There's an artist's sketch of it. Shows the Dome of the Rock and the temple together there as it will look one day. The reason I believe that that's where it is, that's the only place on that mountain you could build the, the, the temple and you could stand over on the Mount of Olives. Some of you folks have been there. You can, that's the first thing you see when you look westward. The first thing you'll see is the Golden Gate. Double arch gate. They call it the Gate Beautiful, the Eastern Gate. And it's sealed up. But if you go on the Mount of Olives and look just over that Golden Gate, yeah. that new temple, you can see every gate of the temple and see completely inside to the Holy of Holies. 
the high priest can stand over on the Mount of Olives and look and see exactly. And the priest could watch as the high priest would go through each one of those gates on that day of atonement, thank God, and, and roll back the curtain and they could see the high priest as he would go in to the holiest of holies, not without blood. He'd offer up first blood for his own sins, then for the sins of the entire, entire nation of Israel. And that's the only way it'll work scripturally. And I believe what God says in this book, we can take it. We can write it down. I was talking about all this worship in the temple. I said the other night, I'm not too worried about the bowls of wrath and the four horsemen and, and the king of the south, the king of the north. I'm not too worried about that. And number 666. All the other things. I'm listening for the trumpet to sound. The next thing on God's calendar is the rapture of the church. Boy, I sure didn't get any amens there, did I? That's what's wrong with us. You're thinking all these things are going to happen and you're going to have plenty of time before the Lord ever comes. Everything God has said in this Bible about his coming after the church has already happened. These other things are going to be after we're gone. Thank God. Vioxx, I take them for pain. Not going to take them very long. Jesus is coming. Where I'm going, there'll be no more pain. Take these shots to try to keep the joints working. Not very long. I'm going to soon have perfect joints. This was to keep my veins and arteries open so the blood can flow through. I won't need them very long because I'm not going to have any blood. What are you saying, preacher? I'm not going to have any blood. I don't have to worry about my cholesterol. I won't have to worry about my heart beat. Why, preacher? Because I won't have any blood. Flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of God. Then what's going to inherit it? Flesh and bone. Not a spirit floating around. It won't be flesh and blood. The life of this flesh is in the blood. This flesh is going to die. It's going to go back to the ground. Doesn't matter what I do about it. It's still going to die. If the Lord don't come first, I'll go out of this life with the way of the grave. But thank God forever, I'll never have another body of flesh and flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of God. Thank God, Paul says, behold, I show you mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Thank God in the twinkling of an eye. You know how long, you know how long the twinkling of an eye is? A blink of the eye is 11 one hundredths of a second. And a twinkle is half of a blink. So that makes it five hundredths of one second. I'll let that soak in just a minute. That's how much time you're going to have. He's coming after the church. The corruptible is going to be raised in incorruption. This body of weakness shall be raised in power. This body of dishonor will be raised in glory. Thank God. What else I got in here? That's lancets. That's where you take the blood out two or three times a day. That's, uh, that's glucotrol. Nobody don't know about that, do they? Won't have no more sugar. Man, I'll sit down at the banquet table. Stroll over by the tree of life. That's putting forth 12 manners of fruit. Praise God, I love fruit, and I know I'll enjoy it when I get there. These I'm going to throw away. Amen. Somebody said the other night, preacher, I've been watching you. You take off your glasses when you read. I say I can't see when I read with glasses. 
Well, what are you wearing for? I can't see out there without it. You see, Calvin Ray learned that in Jim and these boys growing up, and they knew if they could just get back in the farthest corner. When I took off my glasses, I couldn't see them. A lot of you wonder why Doris always sits on the back seat. She says, Calvin, you take care of the front, I'll take care of the back. I used to see Calvin Gray going out to the car. He'd limp along like his daddy. You don't know how many times I prayed, God, use him. Make him for thy glory. Anything else in there? Oh yeah, there's an extra set of teeth. <laughs> I won't need them anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah, when I can throw them away. Yeah. I'm not quite finished yet. When I get to the last mile, I'm gonna say, oh Brace, You've been good to me. You've helped me walk. And you've traveled with me probably a million miles. But old friend, I'm going to have to retire you. I'm in a land now where we can leap like a heart. No more braces. No more wheelchairs. Praise the Lord, he's real tonight. I have a feeling there's someone here tonight. God's telling you about now you ought to come. Give your life to him. Some of you have never been saved. Others... You're not living where you ought to be living. Maybe I've touched a little bit tonight that touches you. God says, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in the fire. Anoint thine eyes with eyes sad that thou mayest see. He said, if you're going to be rich, be rich in me. I'll give you all things, whatever you need. Sin is a captive. It And Satan will try to abolish your soul, but there's only one hope for your destiny, and that one hope is found.
Well, where does the time go? It just seems like we start the program and we're already at the close of it. And also, where does the time go in our life? It seems like it passes so quickly. I'm in revival all week long this week down at Hickory Grove Church. And for 35 years, I've been going down to worship with Charles Emmons and the good people there at Hickory Grove Church in Tollsboro, Kentucky. I'll be there Monday through Friday night at 7 o'clock each evening. They are a, a tremendous church, a tremendous group of people. You'll love getting to worship together with them. They have great singers in all week long. So come and join us this Monday through Friday night at the Hickory Grove Church at Tollsboro, Kentucky. Continue to pray for this ministry and be sure to share your prayer needs with us so that we can seek the Lord on behalf of your needs. And I know that God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Thank you for tuning in. Until next week, may God bless you and yours is our prayer. Thank you for joining us today on Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. The fields are For more information about this ministry, contact us at Evangelistic Outreach Ministries, 299 Ohio Avenue, New Boston, Ohio, 45662, or toll free at 800-767-8713. You can also visit us online at calvinevans.org.